Hey, welcome guys. In this video, we're doing a review of the Nest thermostat, the third generation. Now, I have a ton of information to share with you guys, so let's begin. Now, the first question people usually have with smart home products is, will this work even if the internet were to go down in your home? And the answer is yes, it'll operate like a dummy thermostat. You can still program it and it'll follow a regular schedule. The other question is, will it work on backup battery power like a dummy thermostat would? And yes, this would because it does have a backup battery which is lithium ion based. This review will explain almost everything you need to know because I've been using it for about two years now. And I'll even have some information to share with you guys regarding the technical support team, which is absolutely fantastic. Before even buying this, going to the Nest website will have a starter's guide helping you decide if your furnace and AC unit wiring would even be compatible with the smart thermostat. During my process, the Nest website said I fell into an unknown category and to call Nest support for more information. After calling Nest support, the technician had assured me that it would be compatible with my furnace unit and AC and had also mentioned that, you know, if it doesn't work, just simply return it to the store I bought it from. On the Nest website, they have a search function to find AC and furnace specialists that have good reputations with installing the thermostat. In the box is everything you need to set it up, including a wall bracket, the thermostat, screws, a screwdriver, and even an extension wall bracket. Before replacing your old thermostat with a Nest one, I suggest you take a picture of your old wiring and keep your old thermostat as a just-in-case precaution. After installing the thermostat, the software setup was incredibly easy and only took a few minutes. The thermostat screen is 2.08 inches. That might sound small, but it's big enough to easily see all the available options and there are plenty of them available. I'm not going to go through all of them because it's too many, but I'll list off some of the key ones. It also comes in more than one color to match your room's color scheme. The key things to note about the thermostat is that you can adjust it to the desired temperature, like a regular thermostat, set a cooling and heating schedule, again like a regular thermostat, but then it also has smart capabilities such as sending reminders to change your furnace filter that I personally find very useful. The most unique feature is the ability to adjust temperatures for away mode. You see, this is a learning thermostat. It has a motion sensor built in and it'll try to learn your pattern and behaviors over the first two weeks of use. It'll also observe what temperatures you apply, so it learns what you feel is comfortable. Away mode is one of the smart functions in which the motion sensor notices no movement in the house for a period of time, so it knows you're out. It'll then reduce the AC or furnace use to save on energy. The sensor, along with the option to use your phone's GPS as well as your family member's phone GPS, will try to observe your pattern on a daily basis and try to learn when do you actually leave on a routine basis and when you might come back to conserve on energy. It also try to learn when you might return on a daily basis based on yours and your family member's routine. And so what it'll try to do is start setting the temperature at the correct level well before you even get home. So when you do arrive home, it's already comfortable. If you have it in a very sunny room, direct sunlight does not affect its ability to detect inside temperature. It has a built-in feature you can turn on called sunblock. If you want, there's even a sold separately sensor that you can place anywhere in your home. You can tell Nest to ensure the temperature where the separate sensor is, has priority over the perfect temperature. So for example, if you have a baby room and you put that additional sold separately sensor in the baby's room, you can tell Nest to ensure that that room's temperature is always perfect and priority over everywhere else in your home. It also try to learn the fact that maybe on weekends you're home more often if you work weekdays full time, and that while you're at home on weekends, that the AC and furnace should run more consistently to keep a very comfortable temperature. And as I mentioned earlier, it can operate like a dummy thermostat, in which you can set schedules for desired temperatures for certain dates and times. Nest advertises that an independent study shows that since it's a learning thermostat, it'll save you 10 to 12% on your heating bill and 15% on your cooling bill. They also mentioned that it'll pay itself off in energy savings over two years, which is great because it's pretty expensive. Here in Canada, it's $330. However, I don't recommend you buy it at full price. You see here, the local government is actually offering rebates on smart thermostats because they're energy saving. It's very possible that your local government offers the same thing. So I actually didn't pay full price, and it's very possible you might not have to either. The Nest uses a leaf symbol to indicate when your settings are saving on energy. The annoying thing about this is that Google and Nest never actually tell you how much energy you're saving. They'll send you a monthly email with how many kilowatts of energy have been saved all around the world thanks to Nest thermostats, but never stats on your own home or how they even collected the global data. How do you even calculate the energy saved in your home when using the Nest thermostat? I've been using this for two years and I have no idea. 
But I say that for good reason. You see, no two years are exactly the same. One year we can have a mild winter, the next year a really bad and cold winter. The one thing you can do which is a little limited is see the last few days on your AC or furnace use and how many hours it was running, but that doesn't really tell you how much energy you were using. There's only two ways I can think of to tell how much energy a Nest thermostat might save you. The one option is to have two homes built of the exact same material, exact same size, exact same floor layout, and the exact same furniture because furniture does absorb heat, one with a dummy thermostat and one with a Nest, and observe those houses for about a year. The other one is within control conditions, which is probably what Nest used. They probably have some sort of studio testing area in enclosed rooms in which they tested a dummy thermostat and a Nest thermostat and compared the usage, but I wish they would have shared that data. So going back to my story about Nest technical support and how amazing it was, I purchased my Nest thermostat and my furnace AC specialist came over and it was a little concerned that my furnace was a little too dated to be compatible with the Nest, but he got it up and running. A few months later, what do you know, my Nest died and is burnt out thanks to my furnace. However, I didn't know that at the time and it did call Nest support. The first tier technician wasn't able to help, so he escalated to tier 2. I didn't have to repeat much of my story. He actually took all the notes from the first technician and read them over and we started troubleshooting immediately. I was actually ready to give up, but the second tier technician refused to let me hang up on the phone and spent over an hour with me troubleshooting. And they didn't seem to be reading a script, they actually seemed to know exactly what they were doing to try and troubleshoot it. Only after replacing my very old furnace with a more compatible one, then the Nest has been working perfectly for over a year. There's Google Assistant support, so you can simply use your voice to tell which temperature you want to change it to. For example, turn on the air conditioning. All right, changing the dining room to cool. Set the air conditioning to 22 degrees. All right, setting the dining room to 22 degrees. It's also IFTTT compatible, if this then that. More information on IFTTT, the link to that video is in the video description. So for example, if the Nest thermostat realizes you're away, you can actually have it so that it'll automatically turn on your Roomba vacuum and it'll vacuum the house while you're away. Pretty cool, right? Of course, it is also compatible, so you have that functionality there. And thanks to IFTTT, you can play with a whole bunch of other crazy combinations. You can adjust some of the temperature settings on a website if you wanted to while you're on your computer, but you can also use a cell phone app, which is really reliable and it's very easy to use. Through the app is where you can delegate and add more family members if you want to allow them control to your Nest thermostat. And if you happen to make a random trip outside the house for a few hours, you can just open the app and tell Nest to start heating or cooling your home early. And you can do that from anywhere in the world, even on mobile data. One kind of neat feature that's kind of buried within the app, you have to really look for it, is the ability to set a passcode on your Nest thermostat. So if you have visitors coming over, they can't play with the thermostat and adjust your temperature because I'm sure we all know at least one annoying person that likes to do that. So I do highly recommend this product. I mean, I do believe that's saving me energy. I'm not doubting that because a lot of local governments here in Canada and the US especially are offering rebates and are saying that yes, this will save energy and it's better on the environment. I'm all about pro-environment. I just wish that Google and Nest had the ability to give me stats on how much energy I've been saving because I have no idea. And yes, it is expensive, but again, because it's government backed, so there's gotta be some truth to it, Nest claims that you'll actually save on money, on energy, and it'll pay itself off after two years. And if you're able to get a rebate, it's all the more enticing to get because you can get it at a discount. So definitely worth checking out. If you guys found this video useful, be sure to check out my social links in the video description. Hit that like button, it does help. Subscribe, and thanks for watching.